Hello, so today's tutorial is going to be about creating this mass money heist or in Spanish La Casa de Papel. So let's start from um, adding the uh, reference image to our scene and there we go. So we are going to try to recreate this mask using uh, polygons. So, without further ado, let's start. Of course, our beautiful box. Boxes are everything <laughs> in Polygon world. So, let's remove the faces that we don't care about, like this one, for example. Well, actually, I'm thinking if we need any faces at all, but yeah, let's, let's, let's leave these ones. So let us scale the whole object and let's try to form a simple first looking um, head. Like we don't have too many polygons here yet to work with, but uh, we're going to solve it very quickly. So let's remove the middle polygon and let's activate the symmetry mode for our scene so with the symmetry mode we have this this second part so every time we'll move the the other part will symmetrically be moving with us so um yeah let's now i'm really thinking if we should be doing like all those faces or we should first just focus on the on the on the most uh, frontal face so yeah let's let's make it simpler always try to simplify things uh, when modeling we don't want to be too complicated so yeah let's add the first in edge loop in the middle so that we can start to form some kind of uh, shape over it and we can obviously see where we need another uh, edge loop and yeah let's add one here as well so yeah let's try to create a head of it we have this reference which is going to help us to create a, a real face from this this thing over here yeah i think this one might be a bit more like here actually it's an organic shape again so it doesn't need to be perfect and now uh, we might need to add the first edge here so yeah we have more depth to work with and and then uh, we have to start shaping our head at least somehow so let's take the the outer vertices let's move them a bit to the back like this take this polygon here as well and as we can see we are starting to have some dimensionality into our model so yeah we need this project over here as well so one of the first things i'm thinking of we could be working right now is the nose and i know this is kind of unconventional way of modeling because we are not actually modeling uh, it the way it should be modeled but we are more, more um, again exploring having fun it's good to explore you don't need to always be uh, right so yeah I'm just changing the opacity of this model just to see things beneath so this is how our polygon structure looks like and immediately I can see we have to move things a bit. Like for example here we want to have uh, a nose. So to create this nose what we are going to do is we are going to probably extrude um, this polygon over here because it's going to serve as our nose. Before we do that let's try to form a nose out of it first like this and like this and this one could be here yep something like this this is this is going to be a base for our nose 
And let's now extrude those polygons that are here. We want them to serve as our nose. So let's add more polygons uh, to the selection, like this one, and extrude. And this is kind of our nose, but it has a, a few mistakes that we need to first fix. So it created this uh, this um, face over here and over here. So we need to get rid of it. And also probably we don't want this type of connection over here but we can try to sneak out a bit and just try to move these polygons here so this will give us this um, this effect where the nose blends with the rest of the face and of course the nose at the top needs to be more here and we have a hole in the middle that we need to sew and in general, we have uh, a bit overlapped middle of the model, so let's try to minimize this effect as much as, much as possible. So let me just uh, yeah, select them and move them around. So this is how our nose looks like, and I completely don't like it, but that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect from the beginning. We will be just exploring this this modeling yeah this kind of looks looks okay-ish yeah so this is a simple nose um, what we might also need here is the is the form here the shape Right now, it doesn't look like a real nose, uh, to be honest. But that's going to be done very soon. Let's change the color again. Let's make it less. Yeah, this is just the nose that we have right now. And maybe to visualize it better, let's enable the shadows or at least the amid occlusion. Yeah, now we can see how it looks like. 